I know our stories can seem harsh sometimes, but my grandmother always said, the stories that are the hardest to hear are the most important ones to listen to. You can never be too gentle when you tell a tale worth hearing. Vera Starboard Bedard is the playwright who wrote Our Voices Will Be Heard. It's inspired by uh, some personal events in her life, but it's very much a fiction. What do you mean you will not marry and someone from a prestigious clan? Your own grandfather's clan? It is a story about breaking the cycle of abuse within the Clinket culture, and then it is a, a mother-daughter story. How could you not speak up when you know, you know what it is like to be hurt by your uncle? Ultimately, it's a story of forgiveness, which is what I really love about the play. Uh, it deals with some tough subject matter around um, abuse within families, but it's really not so much about that, but as the aftermath, what happens to families afterwards. And I think that's a lot of what we don't talk about. You try to get this child to tell lies. You pick on your brother. What else will you do to hurt me? It's set in the 1800s, so there's a distance that um, was it good for Vera in writing it, but also was good for the rest of us to be able to take this subject matter in. My cousin wanted away from this place so badly, he threw himself off a cliff to escape it. This is a very exciting piece for Perseverance Theatre Company. This is the first time in their entire history they have had a Native American written play on their main season stage. It's also a play that is directed by Native American. And then the entire cast of eight are all indigenous people from this continent. You do not get my respect. You do not get my obedience. You do not get my silence. You do not get anything because you threw me away with both hands. It's such a special piece and it's such an important story in so many ways. Not only as an indigenous story, but then as a universal story. The issues it's dealing with are pertinent to all of Alaska especially. Alaska has the highest rate of childhood sexual and domestic abuse um, in the nation. And so that's something that all Alaskans I think are becoming very aware of and wanting to know what can we do. The abusers rely on, on silence. Breaking the cycle requires um, a really strong, brave voice like Vera's. Oh,